feed these hung hungry Steam Deck fans. <laughs> they don't take no nonsense. All right, let's get it done here. All right. <clears throat> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five sets work. Health and strength is good. What? On a Monday. All right. Now to you Steam Deck fans. You know, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good. Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad, what's up? Look. Uh, you, okay, USB, USB stands for Universal's, Universal Serial Bus, right? A USB port. A USB, USB port can hold 127, 127 devices. So, when it comes to the docking station, that means you can put a, a, a hard drive in those USB ports and save your games. Remember that. Alright, listen to this. Valve Steam Deck docking station review. Our Valve Steam Deck docking station review puts the official dock to the test, pitting it against alternatives in terms of features and price and specs. All right, let's do this. See, after I fun after finally getting my hands on the Steam Deck, make sure I got this here first before I take off to the races with this article. All right, got it. Now let's roll. It says, after finally getting my hands on Valve Steam Deck docking station, I'm surprised by how much I like it. The official dock doesn't seem at seem all that appealing at first, costing more costing more than the many cheaper alternatives out there that, that offer similar functionality. Yet the cost the cost costly real McCoy features of uh, uh, design uh, quality difference that just feel right, and that alone almost justify its higher price. Come on, of course. Uh, if you're gonna buy a Steam Deck, of course you got to get the official dock that's made by Valve. Why? Because they create the Steam Deck. You have to. That's a that's a must. And it, but it doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop you from getting getting the alternative though, like J Socks. But anyway, it says here coming in at eighty nine dollars USD slash seventy nine G G G B B. The Steam Deck docking station is up against fierce third party competitor. Uh, gunning at the, for the best Steam Deck dock crown. That said, while these accessory solutions are impressive, the official docking station fully embodies Valve design philosophy in a way that can be easily easily repli res replicate. It also comes with an additional power adapter, a huge boom that will save you constantly fiddling with the charger every time. <laughs> every time you want to embrace your desktop mode says here steam deck docking station specs armed with a amd hdmi and display port input three usb a ports and gigabit ethernet the steam deck docking station hardly transform your handheld into a makeshift desktop pc here are the docking station specs usb usb a 3.1 gen 1 times 3 that means there's three of them uh, HDMI 2.0 times one. Uh, display port D. Display port 1.4 times one. Ethernet gigabit gigabit times one. Price 89 dollars uh, USD and 79 GBP. The Steam Deck docking station isn't alone in, in space. However, as the JSOX docking station for the Steam Deck HBQ702 offers a similar setup for 20 bucks less. There are a few differences between the two. For example, Valve official accessories equipped with USB 3.1 Gen 1 port, whereas third-party alternatives stick with USB 3.0. While this does mean the official dock supports faster 10 gigabits per second transfer speed, you'll be hardly pressed to notice any difference between the two using the input for your gaming keyboard and mouse. It says your Valve dock also uses Display Port 1.4 rather than 1.2, a feat that technically allows the Steam Deck to output a 4K at 120Hz or 1440p slash 240Hz signal to your gaming monitor. I say technically since the portable PC generally isn't up to actual meeting those standards, saves for exceptional uh, circumstances like playing retro games. Yeah, Valve did their homework, man. You, you got you got to get you got to get the official. If you buy a Steam Deck, you got to get the official dock made by Valve. That's priority one. 
But that shouldn't stop you, though, from getting other third-party docking stations. Okay? But anyway, it says, uh, you'll be, you'll be, uh, you'll be able to take advantage of M MST multi-stream transport, which enables you to connect two monitors using a single display port. I'll admit, connecting more than one screen to the deck feels a bit overkill, but I'm not going to grumble about extra functionality that could come in useful to someone out there. I like the dual screen feature. This is why I like the Wii U. So, Valve is, <laughs> the Steam Deck is good. Anyway, Steam Deck docking station design. At this stage, it feels like every Steam Deck dock, uh, dock follows the same cradle with a tail design of philosophy. That's not necessarily a bad thing as being able to plonk a deck down, connect to a single built-in USB-C cable, and instantly connect to your display is wonderfully uh, convenient. Sure, it's not as click, it's not as slick as the Nintendo Switch, but but that's but that's par from the course when it comes to PC versus console comparison. <laughs> PC, PCN Games always got to slide the switch in the conversation. Sorry, PCN Games. The Steam Deck is just a different different animal. <laughs> it's, 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 it's levels above the switch. But anyway, says here, in theory, the Steam Deck docking station device, its goal using the same means as every other dock. That by large because the company actually established the blueprint by sharing earlier image of the accessories. But there are tiny designs different that's perhaps didn't translate as well uh, visually. For starters, the lip of the Steam Deck, uh, the lip of the valve uh, cradle is angled so that it sits perfectly fl uh, flush with the handheld display. You won't have to worry about screen uh, scratches though as a rubber pad guide the portal portable into position without much uh, fumbling. The dock built-in USB-C cable also feels more flexible, meaning it won't put up a fight while you try to pop it in into the top socket. <clears throat> Says here, I have said this already in our various JSOX dock review, but I find the side placement of the Ethernet port irritating. Thankfully, the Steam Deck docking station avoid this cradle uh, sin, as it sits happily among other ports at the Back. Trying to manage cables is hard enough when you you got a PC Steam Deck, PC, um, PC, PC Steam Deck, and other electronic uh, uh, gubbins <laughs> hookup, and being able to channel every connection uh, uh, together ultimately helps uh, deter stressful uh, spaghetti monsters. <laughs> says here, says here. Look, some people. Like I said, every not just because the editor, just because the editor likes one design, that doesn't mean that 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 uh, the design that he likes works for you. Okay, remember that. It says here, the Steam Deck docking station is made of the same um, mat, matty black hardy plastic as the handheld and other Valve products. Then it says R.I.P. Steam Link and Steam Controller. This may seem like a downgrade compared to the aluminum finish on Jane stock alternative but I actually prefer Valve's approach here the material used for official dock managed to maintain a greater sense of quality and serve as a testament to the company dedication to the hardware uh, substance look colors colors whatever some people like the black uh, uh, docking station and some people are going to like the JSOX design or, you know what I'm saying so People have different tastes, different colors, man, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, let me get through this. It says here, Steam Deck docking station firmware. Unlike JSOX model, you can download firmware updates using SteamOS patch, and tweaks will flag up in the settings menu in the same place as general software updates, keeping everything streamlined. That's not to say you can uh, fetch JSOX dock, dock firmware updates but you'll need to hook accessories to a Windows PC. This gives the Steam Deck docking station a massive advantage, advantage in my eyes. And it says, as someone who struggled with uh, newer uh, spicy brain uh, blips, being able to adjust, to being able to just able, uh, being able to just 
update the official dock firmware within its natural habitat effectively safe me safeguards me from potential issues in the future as there's zero chances of me actually remembering to keep third part solution update if it involves a whole whole other uh, rigmarole <laughs> it says here Steam Deck docking station uh, price price at $89 USD $79.99 GP the Steam Deck docking station is one of the most expensive options on the market for that reason it's easily easy to see why you'd be tempted to pick a pick up a cheaper alternative but it's still worth considering what you actually get for your money and it says here monk two, one more paragraph here it says here unlike most alternative valve steam deck dock comes with a a 45 watt charger in the box as such it's more appropriate to pit it against the JSOX bundle with a similar dock specs doing so leaves a narrow price gap between the deal between the real deal and the third party alternative and while I don't think that's too egregious given the subtle tool improvements it's still it's still a saving so the Steam Deck docking station verdict uh, prior to actually using Valve Steam Deck dock I assumed it's merely be an overpriced version of what actual available to portable PC players it's safe to say I was wrong for the most part as it's clear that the official docking station has something to offer those who prefer premium accessories pros uh, better specs than alternative uh, great build quality easy firmware updates cons expensive uh, it says I am not that actually advocated for paying for a logo nor am, am I nor am I saying that the Steam Deck docking station is outright better than solutions by JSOX or other manufacturers. However, those looking for a dock, dock that undeniably feels like it belongs to the handheld needs look no further. Price ultimately keeps the peripherals from, an, from achieving product perfection, but that won't matter to those of you willing to splash the cash. And then it says here, Okay, that's it. <laughs> look, look, look. When look, when it comes to the Steam Deck, when it comes to the uh, when it when it when it when it comes to the Steam Deck dock, of course you're gonna get the official dock made by Valve, cause you know it's, it's the same color as the official as the deck itself, and 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 it's the same manufacturer. But that should not stop you from trying uh, alternatives. You know, the ones that, that JSOX make, they're pretty good. You know, they, they are pretty good. And they come with uh, external SSD support. You know, um, and with the Valve Steam Deck dock, you can, um, you can put a, a, a solid state drive through the USB port. So it, they're both good. Um, they're both good. Uh, they're they're both good docking station. One might one one is official. Uh, one might the official dock. Let me turn this on here. <laughs> the official dock. Uh, the official dock um, is, is 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 a is like twenty dollars more expensive, but it doesn't mean that the alternative alternatives are not any good. The only different the only difference between is like okay where the where the, the alternative use, use, uses USB 3.0. The official dock uses 3.1. Okay, and then like on the display port, it might be it's 1.4. It's you know um, it's uh, HDMI 2.0. So um, the official it's good to get the official dock made by um, made made by Valve. It's good to get that one right because you're getting your money's worth. But at the same time, it's, it it shouldn't stop you. From getting the ones that JSOX made, you know, and if you want to do a comparison yourself, go ahead and try. But it's good to have both, you know. So at least, um, you know, at, at least you know what you, you you know what you're you know what you're getting with both of them. So um, they're 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 both good. They're they're both good docking stations. They're both good. But since the um, 
I mean, the Steam Deck is actually black, so the the official dock is made by the the manufa the, ma the manufacturers who made the the Steam Deck itself. But it, sh it shouldn't stop you from trying the the one that J Socks have, because you know, the one the ones that J Socks have, they I mean that that's 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 pretty that's they're pretty good. So give it a go, you know. And um, it sounds like in this article, you know. Um, the, the editor, he likes the uh, Valve's official dock, but he made a complaint about the Ethernet port, but I don't think that's that's his issue, but for the average consumer, I don't think it's going to be a problem because people, people I've, that that uses uh, uh, devices that, that needs an Ethernet port have set their, set their stuff to the side, to the left, to the right, whatever. And it doesn't bother him so the, uh, the editor might have one preference but you should that shouldn't let you should let his choices that he made affect your decision on which docking station you prefer you know so yeah but 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 I mean both J Sox and and Valve's uh, docking station are good it's just that you know the uh, J Sox might use USB 3.0 but Valve is using 3.1, you know, and and then and then they might be using HD, HDMI 2.0. What's that? Uh, 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 what's that? Uh, Display Port 1.4 stuff like that. So that's that's the only difference. But they're they're both good. They're both good docking stations. At the end of the day, you know, the official just matches the color of the um match matches the color of the um. The, the, the official Steam Deck, you know, and how the how the uh, Steam Deck sits in the crate, like in the dock, uh, it, it might not bother a lot of people, you know. Some people might have an issue with it, others don't. So, you know. uh, but other than that, they're both good. You know, you can't um, um you're, <laughs> you're 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 getting your um you can you can hook up a what two two screens. To the official, uh, to the official dock, you know, dual screens. Me, me, I like the dual screen feature. So, I like a dual screen feature because I, I like what the Wii U brought to the table when it comes to that dual screen feature. So, the Steam Deck doing the same thing as the Wii U. Hey, why not? <laughs> so, hey, they're both good, man. At the end of the day, you know? one is just twenty twenty dot the, the the official dock is twenty dollars more than. The one that the, you know, that like third parties are making, like uh, J Sox. That's it. So, yeah. No, no big deal. <clears throat> you know, get both and then try them out for yourself, you know. And um, see, see, and then see which one you like better, you know, and then go from there. Other than that, this, other than that the Steam Deck is. Steam Deck is good, man. <laughs> That little that little handheld is doing damage. It's doing damage, man. And it's getting updates, 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 games, games, updates, updates. Yeah, it's get, getting a lot of updates, man. Well, yeah. docking station wise, um, it all comes down to you, you know. But but of course you want to get the official dock from um, from Valve, of course, no doubt. But that shouldn't stop you from. Trying out uh, third-party uh, like J socks, you know, like an another alternative. You know? So yeah, um, people, pe you know, one thing about this, one thing about this world, I, I notice everybody has their tastes, their likes, their dislikes. So you know, this article, I mean, it's a cool, it's a, it's a good article, but. Don't let this article stop you from trying, like J Sox or a docking station. Okay, don't let it hold you back. <laughs> you, know? you have a decision to make, so pick one or pick both. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Forward, Dark Side. Go. Peace.